I went to a summer camp uh, in Los Angeles when I was eight, and then I went to an exchange to, uh, program with Rotary when I was 16 to Germany. And one thing that I have said uh, since then is that if every young kid will have the opportunity to experience another culture, there will be no war because then you become more empathetic of where people come from, how they're raised, how's the culture, why they do what they do. And, and then you, you are a little bit more open, open on, oh, they're different, but they don't mean bad or that's just how they is. And then you you become a little more understandable of, of the difference and not just scared of the difference. Right. The kind of double-edged sword of that is that everyone's kind of cavalier use of planes from, in my opinion, is, you know, it's just another one of those contributing factors to the climate change. We're seeing this kind of breaking up like the the stability of that world and the you know the peacefulness that we do have in it and as we saw more recently it also enabled the very quick spread of a virus everywhere so it's kind of it's kind of an interesting thought experiment to me is like how how else can you get to experience other people and their cultures without you know finding a way to get 8 billion people to make a flight every 2 years so that they can all have this nice little traveler's experience. I don't know if that makes any sense. Well, I think uh, Canada is a little bit um, gift on that side, on that side, because maybe you don't have to go across the border to experience other cultures, your neighbors might be another culture. And if you're open to experience that to know them, you have it there, you don't have to travel across the border. Uh, and I agree that um, the traveling, the car industry or the plane industry, all the gas industry is collaborating to our climate uh, crisis. Uh, but at the same time, if we're more empathetic with what's happening on Brazil with uh, the um, uh, jungle on fire and the ocean in Mexico on fire and everything on fire and the <laughs> overflow uh, in Germany, we can empathize more because I, I have fun here like uh, we are lucky to have water everywhere there's lakes everywhere so then uh, like people brush their teeth with the tap open or they run their shower for like five minutes before jumping in and it's like what are you doing we're running out of water just thousand kilometers down the south south of the border there's cities in the in the u.s they already have limited water supplies but because we sometimes just see what's happening around us, we forget to empathize with what's happening in other countries. 